Much obliged. I cannot tell the difference. and release to throw it back. Hold and release to create an explosive trap.
Anna Gaten's Comstock House. Lady Comstock, how lovely to see you. Wonderful of you to make the journey, especially considering your painful death 19 years ago. Lady Comstock. The dress. The thing has mistaken me for my mother. Your fingerprints do not seem to be your own today, Lady Comstock. Are you unwell? This isn't going to work. I think it can. Your mother's dead, Elizabeth. Yes. I think it's time I paid my respects. Let's head to where she's buried. <laughs> the graveyard where my mother's buried. Where are you going? Come on. What are we looking for? Elizabeth! Done! They have her preserved in an airtight chamber. Her fingerprints will get us into Comstock House. She's your mother. A mother who abandons their child doesn't draw a lot of sympathy in my book. Take a moment to think about what you're doing. There. Will you open the door or do I have to go in without you? Elizabeth. It's her. How are you, mother? All locked up in there, huh? Looks like you and I have some common ground. Let me do it. No. Let me do it. You see, child? You chose to follow a false shepherd, and he has led you astray. Hold on, you need to rest for a minute. No, I'm getting that hand. Elizabeth, why is your mother a ghost? She's not. He, he used me to, to power that device. He opened up some kind of chair. <laughs> Dead. Why do you ask what? When the delicious question is when. The only difference between past and present is semantics. Lives, lived, will live. Dies, died, will die. If we could perceive time as it truly was. What reason would grammar professors have to get out of bed? Like us all, Lady Comstock exists across time. She is both alive and dead. She perceives being both. She finds this condition disagreeable. Perception without comprehension is a dangerous combination. Look! Footsteps. She goes to unfinished business. We have to follow her. Convince her to open the gate to Comstock House. Go ahead. Sure thing.
It's a shame you have need of her to enter Comstock House. Frankly, she doesn't seem all that cooperative. There is a way to bring her to reason. Three truths you must discover first. Truths which, in this world, Comstock has destroyed. If only one of you had the power to alter time and space. That would be a blessing, wouldn't it? Hmm. Well, they're sarcastic. There's something off about Lady Comstock. Yeah, I noticed. No, you don't understand. She... she doesn't belong here. I brought something to her. I'm just... I'm so sure it was her.
That'll do. said Lady Comstock didn't belong here. She's almost feral. It's like she's a reflection.
won't take long at all. There. Need money? But you two are dead. I took your funeral photo. Yes, I made an absolute hash of it. One doesn't expect to capture sure its cause. It's come across so lifelessly. I don't think that's the real Lady Comstock. I think she's... I think she's a combination of herself and my feelings towards her. What do you mean? I'm just so angry. At her and at my father. I think she's her, but she's also part of me. I'm not even sure I understand it myself. This one open? Seems easy enough. All yours. You are! That's my mother. I assure you, madam, my sexual interest in your dear prophet is non-existent. And Madame Lutas. Furthermore, the man is quite sterile. That's a lie. Come again, you little bastard! I want her out of my house! Sterile. They weren't my parents. But then what were you to them? A child. They decided to imprison I don't understand. What. Why would the twins send us to find... Three truths. Were, were the tears somehow related? Through a, a kind of quantum field? Or were they... Elizabeth. They wanted you to understand her. Who? You mean... Oh. Alright, come on. Dear brother, these holes in the thin air continue to pay dividends. Lady Comstock. Lutessus. And anyone who knew the truth was better dead than alive. I'm not even his daughter. I'm just some... No, you are not. Elizabeth, listen to me. What you've been through, ain't nobody in the world deserves that. We are getting out of here. You got it? You're never gonna have to look back. Rosalind Tess is not my mother. And neither am I. He killed you both. Yes, you knew. I know you hate me for not being your daughter. And I hated you for not being my mother. Timing. 
Mr. DeWitt, you're hurt! Where you never meet him. Or I saved him. 